again and again and again. This morning, until you make it happen, because you know toward that dream that is possible. I mean, I got people counting on me, that's what motivate me Bro. Go on and hate me, you still thinking he might make it uh, I can't fake it, it's all me and you hear it yeah. Other people just rapping, I'm letting you hear my spirit They Go. fear it because it's sincere, something you ain't used to Go. Every word I utter, I'm hoping it comes useful Go. I ain't with the violence, I'm hoping to stay peaceful But threaten my family and my dogs gonna meet you <laughs> If I said it, I mean it, I'm bumping G easy yeah. That's why I ain't blow up, they thinking it comes easy <clears throat> I woke up super late. I didn't set any of my alarms, and I woke up at like 7.45 this morning. I sat there for a minute, rest my eyes, boom, right back to sleep. Uh, so I actually woke up at 10, and got out of the bed, immediately imported my clips and everything else, so. Something that's interesting though is usually, like growing up my whole life, anytime I wake up late, immediately my ass is on my shoulders. Like I feel panicked, rushed, I just, I don't like being rushed with two things. Or well, with three things, I suppose. I don't like being rushed in the gym. I don't like being rushed when I'm eating, even though I already eat fast. And I don't like being rushed in the morning. But even though I woke up late, like, I feel fine. Like, I still normally get everything done. There's no sense of panic or anything else. It's really, really odd. Almost a refreshing feeling. I've never felt like that before, so. Ten minutes left. Woo! Good afternoon, Oreo. Do I know you? You. Okay. Yo, Cody. Yo, what's up? Are we trying Chick-fil-A today? Yeah, dude. We have our videos to upload and everything. Cody's pumping out a lot of content over the next couple days. You should go check out his channel. Ural's going to go do some of his edits at a coffee shop. And uh, after he works out, he's also in the description box below on Instagram, everything else, photographer. Y'all know how it is. Okay, there's a cat over here. We don't need the cat. We don't. Don't give it attention. She's right there. Oh. She's sitting in the driveway. She's sitting down yeah. in the driveway. She's doing something there. I don't know. Dude, it's not a pretty sight. Oh shit, that's sketchy. Do you see her? She's like hidden behind the fuck. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? Look, wait, wait. Do you see her? Dude, she looks like a serial killer. Dude, what is that cat doing? That kid's drugged out. Dude, this reminds me of one of those movies like with the neighbors. Dude, I thought her and neck was about to spin around. <laughs> <laughs> My cat. <laughs> and then you back up into her like husband who's like it just fucking randomly just standing. Me. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Uh, yeah, leg day today. So I like to start my Mondays, start the week and end the week with a little bit of leg day. I would do legs, but my legs are still it's, it's been the like best four time days to do it. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. I might I might work them in a little bit. Uh, I would hundred percent like run. A lot of people don't like whenever they get sore, this happens to people all the time. When they get sore, they try to like no, you gotta skate away out. from the no. muscle group. You got to make sure to break it back up. Right. That's why it's sore is because it's been sitting. Right. So and because you worked them out, obviously. But leg day and then Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A boy. Oh, let's see here. Post gym. Woo. Leg day was a success. Success. You know what I think of every time I hear that? Suck. No. It's just suck. Yeah. yeah. Is that just not what you think about? No, I, I think of Super Smash Brothers. Uh oh. Whenever you do the challenge and it says success. Jim was fantastic. Now we're about to go try our hand. We're not we're gonna do a lot more than try. At getting some Chick-fil-A. We know we could order online. But I think part of the experience is. Oh, you think that? We think. <laughs> Part of the experience. You gotta go. You gotta go wait in line. It's dude. waiting in line. We'll find out, man. Working with no budget, the money is just eating, but won't stop because I was put here for a reason. Yeah. Until I get on, you gon' see me keep going. I wanna be on TV every time it turn on. I Woo. wanna travel around the world. I want a house with a lawn. I swear Woo. you can have it all, but your dream is just gone. I'm saying, I got this feeling coming from my chest like short. I don't want to. Just too busy running shit to I don't want. I don't want to. You know that pay for my passion. Oh my god. Where do we go if we don't want to go to the drive-thru? Um, you want to go inside? Yeah. Um, Is that a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. It's allowed, okay. Yeah, so you can turn right here. There's some spots right here. And it can just too. Thank you. Sounds yeah. awesome. Thank you. Dog, this is like a mall opening. Oh, I'm too fat. Yeah, you're not going to make, make that. that. 
those one more time? Sorry, two of those, one with no tomato, no pickle. One with no tomato, no pickle. Yep. Yeah, let's do... Yeah, let's do... 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 Let's do card needed reformatting but we're here we made it back yo look at this chick-fil-a bag dog sixty dollars in chick-fil-a thank you cody papa cody yo let's fucking eat dude mm. oh yes get some dow food in that comment section Chick-fil-A, I've had it before, uh, four times. Those were each after college courses, and I would normally get this grilled market salad, and I would put no nuts on it, but I'm gonna go crazy here, put some of the nuts on it. Go crazy with the nuts. Yes, sir. And I also throw some of them right there, grilled nuggets on that bitch. All right, you know what you gotta do? So this is standard for me, but I've never had one of their sandwiches. This is a grilled chicken sandwich. This is real man talk right here, this is what you do. All right, get yourself a deluxe sandwich. And these are waffle fries. I don't usually eat. Grab yourself some Chick-fil-A sauce. Are you watching? Fuck, dude. We gotta go at the same time or what, dude? Yeah, I'm, I'm ne I've never had their sandwich. Should I try some of the sauce on the sandwich? Be honest with you me. You wanna just try to dip it? Yeah, like maybe, yeah. Just like a, just for the first bite, cause I don't want it all up on that shit. There you go. All right, I mean, you're gonna be addicted to do it. You ready? Yep. Pretty good. It's decent. The sauce is like super good. The sandwich is pretty good. I've had like some chicken sandwiches in my day. The sauce is crazy good. They don't have the macronutrients on them, do they? Got it. Just this one time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did I say? So I knew when I was ordering yesterday, I was about to be eating a copious amount of food. And I originally had guessed 1,500 calories, but little did I know how close I actually was. I ate 1,490 calories, roughly 57 grams of fat, 122 grams of carbs, and 123 grams of protein. Relatively speaking, it's not horrible. The sodium and cholesterol is absolutely outrageous, but apart from the fat and excessive carbs, it's pretty basic, honestly. It wasn't healthy, but it wasn't the worst. We're dark too, aren't we? How about that? Let me redo all, redo all this. Alrighty guys, it's about that time. I'm sitting down right now. Turn you up. Boom. Alright, let's redo this again. Oh, hi there. And me. Dude, I'm not liking anything that I'm fucking saying right now. What is wrong with me? 11 or so, and for the people that watch the stream, you'll see me. And you, well, I guess you watch this. Yo, is it about that time? It's about that time. Sorry. Dude, I literally can't record anything. I know, I heard you say it like eight times since I was coming to fuck with you. I, I can't record anything. I'm like, what the yeah, fuck is happening? All right, guys, about that time, about to start the stream up. What are we gonna play? I don't like you it. don't like it? I'm playing Overwatch. Alrighty, guys, so just sat down, got all right, all this shit right here. Good luck, <laughs> man. Dude, I was feeling good about that one, dude. Please, come on, man. I'm, I'm sort of trying, man. Go, <laughs> go on. This is my life. But uh, I'll talk to you guys here in just a little bit. All right. Bye bye. I'll, I'll see you soon. Hey, it's hey, it's okay. I'll see. Hey, I'll see you soon. It's okay. Hey, shh. The stream's been fantastic. I played some Overwatch, climbed some ranks and everything. Now I'm gonna say goodnight to the chat, those beautiful people. Bye chat, I love you. This couch, man, I haven't really like taken any time to lay down on it, but it's nice. Yo, just in the stream not too long ago, it was a it was a fantastic time, man. I've been loving the streams the past few days. They've been like on point. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to a concert, Blink-182. So stoked for it. So I will be streaming, so I should be making a return to streaming Wednesday. Which I think I'm gonna do Shadow of the Colossus, old game, keep it on the PS2, all boss fights, really epic apparently. Can't wait for it. So I went to record this earlier, but I could not speak clearly for the life of me. I never do like retakes where I just fuck something up and I'm like, okay, let me just do this again. And if I do, it only takes like one or two times. Like it's very seldom. But if I mess it up, it's usually just horribly. I slaughter it. Earlier, I couldn't even do it. I like messed it up 12 times. But 
This little thing that I want to do, because you guys have been so active on the past couple of YouTube videos, I want to go to the most recent video, which is vlog uh, 63 that I upload today. And I just want to address some of these comments, answer some of the questions, uh, whether I think they're funny, whether I, whether they're genuine questions, or just comments in general, just talk about them. So, uh, maybe this will be a segment like... Why, who does that, man? I don't know. I think this YouTube segment of like the vlog where I read the comments will be like, I don't know, man, what's something that's clever? Y'all come up here, you, here, there you go. There's your comment fuel. Go ahead and do it. What should I call the segment where I just read some of the comments? It's not like a Q and A. It's not something I want to turn into like a weekly thing. It's not something I want to have planned. I don't want you guys to know when I'm going to do it. Just whenever there's a lot of comments and things that are interesting that I want to reply to, Instead of just replying to every single one, I'll just make some, like, put it in the vlog where I reply to them. So, Oreo's Twitch channel. It is Oreo with four E's. Four. Easy peasy. Next question. So, my boy Skyler, he's been watching my, my content for a while now, like, close to two years. It's crazy. Yeah, and we've had this discussion before, but I'm going to bring it to the YouTube channel, all right? Subway is literally the worst major sandwich chain in America. Like, it's not even, it's not even close. And then someone says, Firehouse Subs is the way to go. We said it before, I think you're right. I haven't had a lot of subs from different places, so I couldn't compare before. But after having Firehouse Subs and having Jimmy John's, which are both, they just taste authentic and homemade and prepared with, like, love almost. The products taste so much cleaner. Uh, uh, Subway's definitely on the lower end of things, but for me, I can pack more onto a Subway sandwich. Now, maybe I just haven't gone to Firehouse enough or Jimmy John's enough, but I don't think you can customize your sandwiches, can you? Like, you can't add extra stuff? Sure, I think Firehouse, maybe you can. Maybe. But the reason I eat Subway usually is just because of the mass quantity that I can put on a sandwich and uh, just spike up my carb protein. That's, that's just for me. It's still not good for you, which actually segues perfectly into one of the other comments. <clears throat> I thought Taylor was trying to be healthy. Subway is not healthy. Yes, the meat and stuff is fresh, but the calorie count and carbs are insane. When they tell you a foot long with only 700 calories, that's without anything on it, just bread. So, um, the bread is usually the most uh, carb-based thing on the sandwich, for one. Uh, the flat bread I get, I think, has 90 grams of carbs, which is relatively high. That's two servings of rice. And, uh, yeah, the reason I get the pro I get the double chicken breast, which is, puts me at, like, 72 grams of protein, usually 75 plus and cheese, which is gonna put more protein on there, obviously some fat, olives, fat, and then the rest are greens. So you can count those as carbs, I usually don't count my greens though. The sandwich is by no means healthy though, and I don't think in the video I said, hey, this is super healthy, This, you need to eat this and lose weight. I don't think I said any of that. I actually said it's something that I don't prefer to eat, um, unless it's like before like a big long workout, like, uh, like a leg day that's super high volume, that I, and I'm feeling empty, and I actually said that in the video too, I was feeling empty, so I needed to, kind of spike up my carbs. But yeah, um, I never said that Subway was healthy. Also, just because I eat healthy doesn't mean I can't not eat healthy. Yo, if, I, if I'm craving a cookie, I'm gonna eat a goddamn cookie. If I'm eating, if I want a sub, I'm gonna eat a sub. If I want a person, I'm gonna eat the person. If I want it, I'm gonna fucking eat it. No one's gonna tell me how I eat. I eat for me, all right? I don't eat for, for other people to say, hey guys, I'm eating for you. And then I fucking just shove spinach and asparagus down my throat. Nah, man, that's, I, I eat for me. But I do stay healthy because that's how I enjoy to eat. But sometimes, yeah, I like I like to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? I love you though. Andy Brooks, I love you. Oh, yo, we got some fitness questions. So we gonna, we gonna dive right into that fitness talk. All right, so someone said, hey Taylor, got a fitness question for you. I'm sick at the moment, got the flu. Should I keep lifting, weight exercising, or should I rest until I feel 80 to 100% better? I am uh, also assuming I should keep eating healthy whilst sick. By Tiny Games. Hey Tiny, thanks for commenting. Personally, if I am sick I or feeling under the weather, I enjoy working out. I like pushing it out of me, sweating the sickness out of me. We're at the point where you are just dragging ass, then no, you should not. Also, you gotta think about the other people. If you're going to work out at a, gym, a public gym and you're sick, that's really unsafe because what you're spreading on the equipment and everything. Fitness question coming at you. So I just got back into working out again. I've always had trouble with finding the right weights to start off fresh. I know you've been working out con uh, constantly for quite a while, but for someone who is getting back into the groove and just starting to change their lifestyle, how do you best determine the weight for lifting to maximize your results? I know it's a very subjective question due to everyone having different body types and muscle limitations, but just wanted to know how you determine what a good weight limit for a new workout. Stance, I got you, bro. This is how you do it. All right, so let's say I'm benching for the first time in 10 years, and I have not benched since I, obviously, 10 years ago. The first thing I would do is I would go and grab the bar, all right? So this would be grabbing the bar, and I would work through the movement of bench pressing, and I would get my feel back for my form to make sure that my muscles kind of remember the, my muscle memory kicks in and kind of jogs and says, okay, these are the muscles that are going to fire and be activated. Now, once you do that, and you're like, okay, I get what I'm doing, then I'm Honestly, just increase weight. Just make sure that you're not grabbing 
super heavy weight off this start and you're not going to hurt yourself. I think that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Vlog number 64 is a wrap. I'll see you tomorrow for another video. All right, sound good? Yeah? Well, if it doesn't, it better. Good night, guys. Peace. I got this feeling coming from my chest. Life short. I'm